Hey, what's up, everybody? I want to welcome you guys to the conversation. So today we're going to be doing the breakdown between Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan at the age of 35. I haven't seen any videos out there with somebody talking about this, so I, I figured, hey, this would be a good topic. I'm sure you guys will enjoy it. So let's get into this content. So we all know the story. We all know the, you know, the theme. We all know that MJ is the greatest player of all time, and we know that the closest thing that we've seen to Michael Jordan is LeBron James. No, it's Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant is the closest thing that we've seen to MJ, and we all know this, everyone knows this. You ask any casual uh, basketball fan, he will tell you that unless, uh, at least he's, uh, unless he's delusional and he just wants to be funny, he's gonna call out somebody else's name. But we all know that Kobe Bryant is the identical copy of Michael Jordan, and Michael Jordan, if you know Michael Jordan was 1A, uh, Kobe Bryant would be 1B. The, you know, the difference between the two of them was, was virtually minimal. The only difference is, in my opinion, now, first of all, let me say this. Kobe, my favorite player of all time, but Michael Jordan was better. I ain't, I'm not bugging like some people out there who have favorite players and then they, they take it all the way over the top and say like, oh, you know, my favorite player is better than Michael. No, he's not. Okay, no, he's not. Even if, I don't know, people like Shannon Sharp who love LeBron James. Yes, LeBron James is an amazing player, top 10 basketball player of all time. He ain't better than no damn Michael Jordan. I'm sorry. Whatever you guys think, Michael Jordan is the greatest player of all time. And as a Kobe fan, if I can admit that, uh, LeBron fans, you guys need to be able to admit that too. So, we all know that Kobe's the closest thing to MJ from the way that he walked, from the way that he talked, from the way that he, you know, his demeanor on the court, from the type of shots that he took. You know, Kobe Bryant, uh, if you if you just, you know, changed the jerseys and you looked at it and you just, you know, took off the faces of both players, you would think that you're watching the same player because Kobe plays exactly like Michael Jordan. You guys can go out, uh, go online and check out comparison videos. It's really, really scary, but at the same time, it's really, really cool. Now, it's something that a lot of people have knocked Kobe for. They're saying, you know, you know, Kobe is just a copy of MJ. Well, excuse me, who, did, who, who didn't want to be like Mike? And so many basketball players wanted to be like Mike, but only one guy actually came virtually this close to being him, and it was Kobe Bryant. Now, if you say he's a copy, fine, but how many other people that wanted to be like Michael Jordan couldn't do it? Okay, let's put, in, let's put in another concept. How many people want to be like LeBron James but just can't do it? You may want to be like that person. That don't mean you can do it. Kobe was able to pull it off. So in today's video, we all know that, you know, Kobe is known for scoring and so is MJ. MJ has 10 scoring titles. I think Kobe Bryant has two. MJ has six rings. Kobe Bryant has five. You know, MJ has six finals appearances, six for six. Kobe has seven finals appearances, five for seven. MJ has six finals MVP to Kobe's two. So we all know this, and we all know that, you know, Kobe, uh, you, you know um, we all know the story between these two players. But in today's video, I want to focus on the comparison between Kobe Bryant at the age of 35 and Michael Jordan at the age of 35. So that's what I want to get into this video. So at the age of 35, Kobe, um, Kobe that was in the 2012-2013 season at the age of in 2013 season Kobe Bryant was 35 years old in comparison Michael Jordan was roughly about the age of 35 in the 1997-1998 season this was when these two players were roughly at that age now Kobe, you know Michael Jordan is born in February and Kobe Bryant is born in August but at those seasons that's when they were those two players were at that you know at, um, uh, at that age so Let's look at Michael Jordan's stats in 1997 and 1998 season, which was the last season he played for the Chicago Bulls, where he won his final uh, NBA championship with the team, giving him six uh, uh, titles. So that season, MJ played 82 games. He averaged 38.8 minutes a game, and he scored 28.7 28, 28 points a game. He attempted 23 shots uh, uh, per game, and he scored, and his, and his field goal percentage was 46.5. Um, uh, percentage points uh, a game. He shot 23% from the three-point line, so he didn't shoot really well from the three-point line. Um, he shot 78% from the free throw line. He averaged uh, 5.9 rebounds, and then he averaged 4.3, no, sorry, 3.5 assists that season. And he went on to win the finals, uh, become an NBA champion, winning his sixth title. And then he also ended up uh, becoming the six times um, finals MVP. So those are the numbers that Michael Jordan was able to put up around the age of 35. Now let's look at what Kobe did in the 2012-2013 uh, 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 season. 
So that season, Kobe Bryant played 78 games that season. He was about 30, uh, 35 years old. He played 38.6 minutes a game. He averaged 27.3 points a game. He shot 20, you know, he, he, took, he averaged 20 field goals a game. So he shot at least three times as less as Michael Jordan. But he averaged 46.3% from the floor. That's what he shot from the floor. Now, he shot 85.7% from the, from the three, uh, free throw line. He got you 6.3 uh, rebounds, I mean, 4.3 rebounds a game and 6.3 assists with 1.2 steals a game. Now, if you look at their numbers, they're virtually the same. However, MJ scored more points, about a point more than Kobe Bryant, but that's simply because he shot three times more on average per game. He played two more games that season. I don't think those two games would make the difference. But the result was quite different because MJ was winning his title. And at the end of that season, that's when Kobe Bryant ruptured his Achilles tendon that season. Now, why do I say all of this? What's the reason for me doing this entire video for doing this comparison? The reason is, in today's game, there's been this, been, there's been this debate about longevity. And a lot of people kind of forget just how good Kobe was at the end of his career, right up until the point he got injured. Because the next, after he tore his Achilles... The next season, he only played six games. And, you know, the season after that, he only played 35 games. Now, had Kobe had those years to be healthy, I think he would have ended his career with, at a, with a different trajectory. Now, Kobe ended up scoring, I think, 33,000 points a game in his career overall. Now, what, what do you think would have happened if Kobe ended up actually having those extra years to be healthy? I think he would have probably had... 35 or 36,000. I don't think he would have had the all-time scoring record at 38,000, but I think he would have been right up there. You know, I think he would have had a different story. Now, us basketball fans that knew him, that watched him, we knew just how good he was, and we remember him at his peak. It wasn't like as if he was at his peak, and then, you know, from that point, he had like 10 consecutive or five consecutive bad years. We understand that it was because of an injury, but the point of this entire video is that at the age of 35, and, you know, for both Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant, the two players were virtually similar. Now, MJ was better, and he had the jewelry to prove it by winning the championship, but Kobe Bryant was right there. So, what I want to know from you guys is, do you think that Kobe Bryant was a comparable player to Michael Jordan at the end of his career, or do you think MJ will forever be on another level and Kobe Bryant couldn't even hold his lunch money? So, that's what I want to know from you guys in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think. I really, know, I really want to know what you guys think, especially on this topic, because it's an ongoing debate, and I don't think, and I don't think it will ever end in the history of basketball. So let me, let me know what you guys think. Again, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to check out some more of our content as it comes out. Once again, I want to thank you guys for all the support. We appreciate it here at Dreamers Pro. Wish you guys an amazing day. This is Charles here. Peace.